Hi beautiful people, I hope you are fine. So in our last tutorial we have seen that how we convert our Tiger to Direct app in the Wheat and uh, it was so easy if you did not watch the video you will you can uh, visit this video in the cards uh, and in this video we will see that uh, how we can access our uh, env variables in our uh, Wheat app so let's try uh, to access it okay let's console it from here console.log and like say react api and uh, we will just try first uh, our in our traditional way we can copy it and let's see that uh, what we exactly get So you see that uh, this process object is not available in, in our wheat project because uh, this project is in the wheat so process is not accept, uh, uh, available here so we will see that how we can access it uh, these are our variables in our uh, wheat project so let's go to the folder again we will delete this and uh, we will install a library for this which name is wheat plugin env compatible uh, we will open a new shell here we will install npm i wheat plugin env compatible so let's wait env compatible from this okay so we will call it here in our plugins so when we are working with wheat so we mostly uh, access the variable and it must be prefixed with the, like uh, for example like wheat oh sorry with my uh, keyboard it's not too good wheat so when we have to access our variable with the wheat so uh, uh, with the prefix of wheat in our in variable but for example if you have just converted your uh, tier to react app and uh, you have a lot of variables and uh, you have to change manually everywhere so on um, uh, this plugin give us a new access here like env prefix so that we don't need to change our uh, variable in all the app so we should thanks for this plugin and uh, we need to give uh, the prefix here react app and underscore so uh, while trying while adding this prefix so we can add our existing uh, env variables uh, in our app and we don't need to change anything okay so we have saved this and uh, so that it work we need to refresh our app again we need to close it npm run start uh, so this app is uh, again started and uh, how we can access our variables console.logs and let's see that uh, react api so in wait we have another variable because uh, we do not have access of process so we have to call with import meta dot meta dot env and dot we have to give that this variable name here and uh, let's see if we have access for this variable or not so we have console uh, uh, console our uh, env variables now so this is the right way that how we can access our environmental variables in our VTAP. I hope so you like the video. Thank you so much.